water dried really well. Today's the next day, so I put three coats of Red Guard on everything. It looks really good. It's starting to look like a bathroom. It looks way better than it used to look. And it's actually waterproof. What I'm gonna do now is it stinks in here, so I'm gonna head out. I'm actually gonna go to Florin Decor and pick up some of the approved mortar. One of the approved mortars. And I also have my all set. I'm gonna see which one I wanna use. I checked the all set and it looks okay. It did stick, but I think for the for my tile ready video, I'm gonna go with one of the approved mortars and kind of backtrack them a little bit. So let me head to Florin Decor, pick up that mortar, and then when I get back, we're gonna probably tile the shower floor and then finish the floor, the regular floor, and then that'll probably it, be it for today. So let me uh, head out right now. doesn't want a uh, threshold so tomorrow we tile the walls it looks really good what a tight little bathroom I have no room to work it's just super tight but we're, uh, we're in good shape so let's continue this uh, bathroom tomorrow I set up all my laser lines I didn't video that now we're gonna start uh, mortaring this uh, right guard you know it's super interesting you have to use mortar on right guard you cannot use glue it does stick. I have used it like in pinches in the past, but for doing something like all of this, I totally recommend using a mortar. I'm using all set and because I like it, I'll probably use some LFT if I run out, but for now, I have all my lines set up. I'm going to start piling this, so let's uh, start going. sure this niche was good and it was a little bit of uh, massaging here and there because I wanted to make the top perfect here and here and it looks good so that's done I'm gonna go to lunch and then I'm probably gonna start working on this wall I'm probably I'll finish the ceiling here and then I'll work on this wall so let me head to lunch and continue on this tile <laughs> custom pelican mosaic that my clients want so that's the plan i'm gonna take out the miter saw and i'm gonna cut this out and then we're gonna tile this but i can't really tile the whole thing because there's a shelf that's gonna go in here and there's a perch so it's like a three-step process super complicated when we get into like these complicated custom things 
you can't rush it to make it look right. So I'm going to start working on this right now. show you what we're doing here we're doing a pelican a pelican on a perch it's gonna go back here I just sent my client the measurements and I hope this works <laughs> so we're gonna have a shelf that comes this way and it's gonna sit on top of these two tile and then the perch is gonna start right here and then the pelican I guess so we'll see what happens but this is extra money this is not easy because after I put the back pelican in, then we have to get glass cut and then I can finish this. So there's two more steps to make this look right. Because I want to make sure I got the shelf literally under the perch so it looks good. I guess you could put soaps underneath here, but we'll have the shelf here. And I was initially going to go up here, but I think it's too high. So I did a last minute decision and this is where we're at. So I'm going to go to lunch. Uh, after we get back from lunch, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to start cleaning up this bathroom and start finishing it. And uh, maybe I'll start grouting. Get most of the grout done and we'll work on that stuff. So let me let me hit the lunch. Next up, we're going to grout. I mixed the motor right there. And it's a grout party. So let's uh, get going on the grout party. It's really hard to video and grout at the same time. I, I think my glasses are, uh, yeah, everything's destroyed. Dark grout really is, uh, it's tough. So that's it for today. We will continue this uh, tomorrow.